Hey, it's Justin Popovich here from Tools for Motivation. And in this video, I kind of want to do a bit of a live demo. I want to show you how to turn text into multimedia content. And I'm going to use an example from our portfolio here at Tools for Motivation. But this lesson will actually help you regardless of what type of content you are producing. If you have some text, maybe you've written an ebook, a series of articles, a report, who knows? And you want to turn that into a number of different other types of content. For example, video and audio are pretty powerful. There's a number of other directions you can take it as well. Uh, this lesson will probably help you. And I'm actually going to use a live working example of a product that we are set to release at the timing of this video. In a couple of days, we're doing a launch for one of our new packages. And I'm actually in the process of creating an upgrade. Uh, so it'll be something that we offer to buyers of our package where they can take the text of our content or of the, of the product that we're releasing and automatically download audio and video versions of it. So I need to create that content. I'm going to show you how I'm creating it. And then maybe you can borrow some of the lessons I'm using here, get the wheels turning, see how I do it. And then now you can sit down and look at some of the text you have and think about how you can turn it into video, audio and other types of content as well. So here is the uh, small segment of content I'm going to be working with. I'm actually doing a number of different tasks for this particular product. I'm just going to pull out a little segment to show you how I'm doing this section. I'm effectively taking some text and turning it into audio, video and slide that content. And you can borrow some of this process if you like. So I have uh, 10 articles and you can see them here. I've got the articles in Word doc format. And in this particular package, those articles have already been repurposed into you can see here slide decks uh, by our team here at Tools Motivation. So if you have PLR, private, private label rights content, where the vendor like us has already written text based content and converted it into slides for you, it'll make this process easier. If they haven't done that, that's fine as well, uh, because the second example I'm going to show you here is autoresponder content. So these are 10 pre written emails um, that are in just text format like this. I am going to create slide decks on the fly and turn those into uh, turn these pieces of text into video as well. So in total here, I have tw uh, 10 articles and 10 email messages. So for a total of 20 pieces of text content, I'm going to turn that into uh, 20 videos, uh, 20 audios and 20 slide decks. So we're taking 20 pieces of text content and turning it into 60 pieces of multimedia content. All right, here's the process I'm going to be following to do this. First, I'm going to take all those pieces of text content that I just showed you. There's 20 pieces of text in total, and I'm going to record each one into audio. So it'll be a total of 20 MP3 audio files when I'm done that piece for section one. And then section two, I'm going to create uh, slide decks for each audio. If you remember, 10 of the 20 are already done because of the PLR package I'm using already had 10 slide decks made for the articles. I will create 10 additional slide decks for the autoresponder emails. Next, where are we here? We are going to export image versions of each slide. So um, each piece of text content is a deck of slides or a slide deck. I'm going to export each slide in each deck as an image. So there'll be a several images per slide deck. And then what I'm going to do is merge the audio that I've already recorded in my own voice uh, with those slide images to make a video. It's a very uh, basic type of video. You can get a lot more enhanced than I'm going to be doing today, but this will just show you how to do it quickly if you want to get started. There's a lot of people that kind of get hung up on all the details. My goal here today is to show you how to do this quickly so that you can have audio and video and other forms of multimedia content done quickly based on the text that you've already built. So let's get into it. So thinking back to step one there, I need to take all of these articles to start. So here's the first one, uh, five steps to discovering your life purpose. And I would literally narrate this into an audio MP3. Now I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use an app called GarageBand, which looks like so. I can just click the record button here and start narrating. But there's also an app here that I've got uh, installed called Audacity. If you're on a PC, this would likely be a good choice for you because it's free software. You can download it from the web and then start recording your own audio. At the end of the day, you get the same result. You've recorded your voice. Uh, you've narrated an article. So I either one. So left side of my screen or right side, I could hit record here. Let's say it's audacity. I click this little record button. Once it starts, I, I go over here, I pop open the article and I simply read it. Now, a quick tip for you. If you're going to do this, let's say you're going to take 10 articles and narrate them into your own voice. I would do this all in a single sitting. 
there's something to be said about the power of getting into a flow state. Uh, and if you're not used to narrating text, you might find that you make a lot of mistakes. You trip up on your words, doesn't sound right, uh, whatever it may be. You don't really get the recording done in your first take. So you end up doing a lot of editing. You, you, know, you, you pause after you make a mistake and you go back and re-record that section. Uh, doing this for an extended period of time where you get into this focused flow state will help you get the 10 articles or whatever you're recording done uh, more quickly. So do it, whatever you're recording, do it in a single sitting. So you have your brain and your mind and your body get a chance to get into this flow state and you can create that audio content more quickly. That's just a sort of a little expert insider's tip for you. Um, so do that, record all 10 of these articles, whatever app you're using. Again, this is GarageBand, that's how I like to do it. Audacity may be your um, app of choice. But once you're done with this sitting, you'll have 10 articles, if you're following me here, I'll have 10 articles and 10 autoresponder emails recorded into 20 MP3s. Okay, so I got that done. Now, just, to, just for a little bit of transparency here, some of these steps I've done before. So I actually had already recorded the audios, but I just want to kind of show you the, um, the process here. I have not finished the whole process though. So as I'm recording this, I am doing some of it live. Uh, I won't be recording the steps. So I won't be actually sitting down and showing you and me narrating 20 articles in a row. That'd be really boring to watch. But here are the audios I created. So autoresponder one through 10, there's 10 there. And then article one through 10, I have a total of 20 audios. I'll just pop it open here so you can hear it. You only have one life purpose. As living conditions approve or... Right, so simple. Now, uh, if you remember back to my slides, that was step one of four here. So let's go back. Um, so now what we want to do is create sl slide decks for each audio. If you remember, my articles already have um, rudimentary slide, slide decks built. I'm actually going to um, work with those a bit, massage them a little bit to make them look the way I want them to look. Uh, and then I need to create slide decks for the autoresponders. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so what I want to do here is now that we've already got this article, let's take the first one. Uh, this one was called Five Steps to Discovering Your Life's Purpose. I narrated it into MP3 as I just showed you. Here are the slides that came pre-packaged with this particular PLR. If you have a PLR package where this, the article has already been put into slides, this is a one for one example. If not, then you can create a slide deck. It's very simple. Uh, and there's plenty of templates out there as well. So what I want to do is, um, now this is in Keynote, the exact same process would apply in PowerPoint. Keynote is a slide application for the uh, presentation app for the Mac. But PowerPoint pretty much works the same, right? So I'm, you're, you're not really going to lose anything in this demo if you're not on a Mac. It's a slide. I'm sure you've seen PowerPoint to look exactly like this. So this is, um, this is the slide deck that corresponds to that first article, Five Steps to Discovering Your Life's Purpose. Now, uh, what you'll notice here is it's got this little your branding thing. Um, now, remember the context of this. I'm building these videos right now for a PLR audience, for people that buy from us. So I don't want to have these videos say the word your branding in there. I want to leave it blank so people can watermark the video and there's nothing there kind of on the screen. Um, for you, you'd probably put your branding right in there. So I'll start by doing that. Like I'll go to each one of these slides and don't worry, I'm not going to show you my entire process here, but I just want to kind of show you how I get started. I'll remove the your branding from each slide. This takes a couple of seconds, not a big deal. And then you can see here your branding here. I'm just going to remove that final slide entirely. Then the next thing I'd want to do is for me, I don't want to have verbatim every single piece of text from my article on the screen uh, because you have to remember here, we're creating a video. I want the person watching the video to be engaged. And if they're so focused on the words on the screen, they may not listen to the audio that's playing in conjunction with what's being visually presented on the screen. So what I like to do is summarize each uh, component of that article. So if the article breaks down into five, six slides, I wouldn't type the entire block of text. I would take segments of the text as a summary so that people see a, a visual cue of what the idea may be and then they listen at the same time. For me, it's just a presents a better learning experience. You might want it verbatim. It's up to you. So here's what I would do is I would kind of read what's here. Um, I can see there's two paragraphs. So let me summarize each paragraph so there's a bit of text from each. I'm just going to I have never read this. Well, I've read it, but I'm just doing this live here. So it says, sometimes it might feel as though you'll never find your life purpose. There's so much to do in, in your everyday life that there barely seems to be time to get the basics done. 
And besides, the world's problems are so big and overwhelming. What can one person do? Time to reframe and take control. So um, let's do. Let's condense this to. Uh, I like this section. So sometimes you feel as though you'll never find your life's purpose. Uh, and I like to kind of bold things. Never find your life's purpose. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let's get rid of this whole block because I don't want them reading verbatim. They can listen. And then I'll center this just to kind of make it a bit more fun, fun to look at. Reframe and control. I might even change the color of that to orange. And then let's go to the second part here. Exploring what you want to do to have a positive impact in the world can be a fascinating and fulfilling experience or process in itself. Here are five steps that uh, you can do to take control. I think, was there one, two, three, four? Okay, there were five. I thought for some reason there were six. Okay, we're good. Uh, uh, so exploring what you want to do, blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. Let's just go like this with dot, 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 and then remove the rest of that text. And this slide now kind of encapsulates a bigger idea, right? It's a larger block of the audio. And I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of work around, move around some of the stuff here to make it look good. Move space there. That kind of looks good. I may want to mess around with the sizing or whatever. Um, but for me, I'm okay with the way this looks right now. Play around with it, right? The, the slides and the way you display the text on the screen will evolve over time. I'm just trying to make this simple. And then I would do the exact same thing with the remainder of the slides, which I'm not going to do right now for you uh, because it's just going to be a lot of what I just showed you and it will drag this video on. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pause it right now, finish this one up, and then we'll move on. Okay, I quickly went off screen there to finish that. So I've condensed this slide deck to look like so. I uh, pulled out some text on the main slide here, and then there was five main teachables in this article. So find your big thing. I took a bunch of text out of this, made it look like so. Part two, part three, part four, part five. Now, you have to remember this all came from an article that I narrated verbatim, right? So now I've got a slide deck that matches. It looks the way I wanted it to look. Again, you have to make it look to your style and liking. And if you go back to our slide deck, where, or sorry, our lesson here, we create a slide deck for each audio. Here was the next step. We need to export image versions of each slide, and then finally merge the audio and slide images to make a video. So let me do both of those right now to show you kind of how that works. So what I would do here is in my Keynote app, this is again on the Mac, I would go export two images, and then I would save them as either a PNG or a JPEG. It's really up to you. Uh, but it literally exports each slide as an image file that you can then bring into a video creation app after. So I would just click next and do that. I actually did, I um, created a PowerPoint version here when I was off camera. These are those exact, exact same slides and you can see it, it literally looks the exact same in PowerPoint here. So if you're on PowerPoint, which is very likely if you're watching this video, then you can also do file and save as pictures right here. So either app works. But the end goal is to get them into graphics or, or um, image files, each slide being its own image uh, so that it's easier to manipulate after using a video creation app uh, where you merge the audio and the images together. Okay, now on my screen, you are seeing an app called ScreenFlow. If you are on a PC, you cannot use ScreenFlow, but you can use something very similar called Camtasia. There are also many other apps out there. So this is where it gets a little bit more involved. You'll have to make the best decision for your business if you are on a Mac, then by all means, please do get ScreenFlow. It's an unbelievably powerful app for creating content, but Camtasia works just as well. Uh, I will also find you a link to a Camtasia tutorial from one of our partners. So uh, here's what we have. If, if you remember, that slide deck is now saved into these PNG graphics. They may be JPEGs as well, whatever you choose, but you can see each one is its own image file, as I had said. So I wanna take all seven of those and I'm going to bring them into ScreenFlow here. So I just drag and drop it. You can import as well. It's, there's different ways of doing this. But also, if you remember, I recorded that article into an audio file. Right here, article number one is an MP3. So I grab that and I, I bring it over here. Now, we want to line these all up. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the article text and put it into our timeline here of the video we're creating. And then we will start matching up the blocks of image 
uh, images here with the blocks of art, uh, article audio. So I'm going to add that there and we listen to it back. Five steps to discovering your life's purpose. Sometimes it... So you can see when I zoom in here, there's a little bl um, blank section there where the intro ends. So I'm going to chop off the, oops, i going to remember my keys here. Chop off that first uh, slide right where it ends and you can hear the transition. Sometimes it might feel as though you'll never find your life's purpose. Right, so that matches the first actual um, content slide. So I bring that in here, watch, and watch the transition. Life's purpose. Sometimes it might feel as though you'll never find your life's purpose. There's so much to do in your everyday life there barely seems to be time to get the basics done. And besides, the world's problems are so big and overwhelming, what can one person do? Time to reframe and take control. Exploring what you want to do to have a positive impact in the world can be a fascinating and fulfilling process in itself. Here are five steps you can take to find your calling. Okay, so I, I took a bit of time there to listen, but I, I know by listening to this article, that's where that first slide ends. So I'm going to put a little break in my audio here. And now, if I zoom out a bit here, I can see this first slide needs to stay on the screen that whole time because that mat, this particular slide matches what was just communicated in that segment of the audio. So there is a bit of work here, but this is not all that hard to do. You just have to get in the habit of doing it. So now I know that this next slide or uh, bullet point number one of five needs to go onto the screen. So I can drag that into my um, play section here or my video creation section and you can watch the transition happen. I'm going to make, I know it goes longer, so watch it happen here. Here are five steps you can take to find your calling. One, find your big thing. Look inwards to see what it is. So we would just continue this process over and over again. So it is a bit tedious when you need to do a lot of content, but if you remember my tip from earlier, if you sit down and do all of the steps that I talked to you about today, uh, f f collect all of your text, then narrate them all into audio, export uh, or create slide decks, export into the images, and then do this step, you can have a ton of video or multimedia content created in a relatively short period of time. And this can be used in so many different channels. Uh, I'm going to kind of stop here. Uh, what I would do is when I'm done, I would simply um, export this into video format. So MP4 is typically the uh, format that it gets exported into. But at the end of all of that, I will, if you remember all the different stuff we did here, we start with one article and it, it becomes a slide, it becomes an audio, it becomes a, uh, a, set, a series of images, and then finally it becomes a video. All of those are different types of content, so multimedia, that can be distributed into multiple channels uh, and, and reach different segments of your audience and your market, which is very powerful. Some people love video and they go to YouTube and they get most of their information from YouTube. There are people that hate YouTube. They don't like video. It's too distracting. They just want to read uh, or they want to listen because they're on the go, right? You can cater to different people and get your message in front of all these different types of learners and give yourself a better chance of getting more customers, getting people onto your list, how, whatever it is you're doing to grow your business. A process like this is very, very powerful. Now, in this particular example, I'm creating all of this for you. So if you're, if you're a customer of Tools for Motivation, you can buy this particular package uh, and then we'll have an upgrade offer for you where we take that text and do all of the work for you. And that's what a lot of PLR vendors do is they do this repurposing for you to save you the time. And then you have all of this stuff, the slide decks, the audio, the video uh, already built for you. And then if you want to tweak it, you can, but a lot of that heavy lifting has been done for you. But either way, uh, invest the time and get good at it, which is a, something I recommend you do anyways, or find a good quality PLR vendor like us and have us do the work for you and just kind of run with it. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of an insight. I've done a lesson like this before, but I thought I'd create one on the fly here for a brand new product. Uh, so if you're watching this at the time of the creation of the video, stay tuned for that one. And if this happened a while ago, then hopefully this lesson just helped you. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.